so you want to hack games in Python, then this video is for you. In this tutorial, you will learn how to hack almost any game out there with just a couple of lines in Python. Oh Let's jump right into it. Alright, so I have my game open. It's Plants vs Zombies. And I want to hack the sons we have here. So I have 50 points. Whenever I buy something, I lose. So now it's down at zero. If I pick up these falling suns, it increases. So to create a hack in Python, we first need a way to find this value. So we will use Sheet Engine. If you don't have Sheet Engine installed, I do have a tutorial on that. And we will find our sum value now. So we will search for 75, 414 addresses. Then we change the value. We buy something. Now it's at 25. And we only have one address left. When we have this address, we can change it to see if it's the correct one. Let's change it to 333. And we can see now that we can afford more flowers. So we successfully found our address. And now we can use it in Python. We can leave it in Shitana and just rename the row. So we call it some points. Or whatever you have in your game. Let's now open Visual Studio Code or whatever code editor you might use and create a new project. So we will create a new file and we'll call it something like, call it pvz.py. There we go. So we will begin by importing the necessary libraries for memory manipulation. So we will write import and then i map it will now be highlighted in this yellowish color or whatever theme you might use so we will need to install pymap on our machine so open command prompt just like this and here we write pip install pymap just like that. It will install all of the necessary stuff and we can see that it was successful. Let's remove that one now and we can continue. Now we can see that it is not highlighted as a potential error and we can just continue. Let's instantiate the memory or the pymem by using pymem.pymem and then the name of our process. So we will go back to Sheet Onion, then look at the top of the program. We can see here popcap game 1.exe. So we will word or letter for letter write it down here popcap game 1.exe. It has to be matching perfectly. Pretty sure. And we have initiated our memory. So now we can take the address of our sum points, create a new variable, use the hexadecimal identifier, zero x, and then paste. Now that we have the address, we can read it or write it. So to read it, we can create a new variable, sum equals pm.readint then just throw in our address and it will read the game's memory. So let's print it out just for a checkup. Sons and then sons. Right, current sons. If we run it now, pi then pvz. 
it will say current sons 158 and in the game we have 158 sons so we correctly read the game's memory and found our sons value pretty good now let's let's write over it so we will take the user input as an integer so we cast it and we let them or we prompt them by saying how many sons do you wish to have after that we can just use our pm pymem and then write int use our address again and now the user input so this will write over the memory address or the value and we can print successfully hacked sons and then the user input because why not we can now test this by using our Python method again and it says how many sons do you wish to have if we look in game now and have them side by side if we write a bazillion here you can see that live in game it updated the game's memory so now we have an unlimited amount of coins or whatever as you can see it updates in the game automatically to a cap on 10,000 but we can still change the sun value so we can run it again change it to 555 successfully hacked sons and we have 555 so your very first python hack remember these are dynamic addresses so you want an application that works on different computers and so on and if you restart the game you will need to use static addresses that means uh, the address will stay the same or no that was a bad explanation but yeah whatever Oh! Fuck! Bomb